Hey guys, McFarland here. Gonna give you end of the week, July 17th, Lake Fork Rundown. Just in time for Mega Bass. That's right, Bass Champs Mega Bass 2020. The largest one day payout in bass fishing history in the whole entire world. That's right. Tons and tons of money, over $200,000. Amateurs only, no pros allowed, right? That's you guys, all right? That's the average weekend fisherman has a chance to win money like a pro. Come on out this weekend, fish the Mega Bass, hosted by Bass Champs, right out of Lake Fork Marina. All right, before you do, Let's give you a little report about how the lake is. All right, our lake level's been really good. Anybody new watching? <sighs> From Monday to today, Friday, the lake has dropped about one inch, just a little bit more. In five days, that's awesome. That's a real stable lake. 29,000 surface acres, 330 miles of shoreline. It's an awfully big lake. That's still an awful lot of water. But for us, that's real stable. The visibility, main lake, okay? The main lake clarity is one to two foot, maybe even some places, three foot visibility. It's excellent. The color is Lake Fort Green. It's beautiful. If you're crossing on the bridges, it looks beautiful, all right? Water temperatures. The water temperatures have been up and down as the whole season has been, but we started out warmer I didn't have Monday for you, but we started out warmer Tuesday than we were later in the week due to cool nights, a little bit of still some pitter-patter rain in the morning. Um, I'm not complaining as a fisherman. The mornings have been really, really comfortable. Um, but remember, the hotter the water, the more often the fish has to eat. So let's talk about today. Today's perimeter was 85.3 upon launch. That's the first 18 inches. That's the subsurface of the lake, okay? Surface temperature. By the time we finished, which was 9 o'clock, by the way, it was another awesome morning fishing. It was so good that we quit an hour or so early. That's two days in a row that we got to quit an hour early. Guide got to go in early. But we finished at 85.7. So I'd like to see that a little warmer. I'd like to see it be 86 in the morning. That way it's about 90 by nightfall. Um, once we get to the 88, 89 in the morning and 92, 93, 94 by nightfall, it's the dog days of summer and the fishing's really tough. But right now we're going to have about two or three more weeks of really, really good fishing because the water temperature parameter is behind. Okay. But let's keep you focused on this weekend. I'm going to tell you about today. Today, well, let's go to yesterday. If you watched yesterday's rundown, um, I told you they wouldn't hardly eat the jig. Tuesday, they ate the jig. Yesterday, it was the shaky head. Today, it was everything. They ate both the football jig and the shaky head. All right, what's the football jig? I'm throwing sand tones, three quarter ounce football jig, and I'm throwing it in the JC Spicy Craw. I'm tipping it with two different craws. The Rage Craw, which is a three inch trailer. I'm gonna show you the bait on the rod in a minute. Or the Rage Craw Lobster, which is the big bait, four inch profile. This is what I prefer to catch a double digit. Tip that three quarter ounce Santone football jig with a four ounce Rage Craw Lobster and green pumpkin. And hang on when you get bit. All right, I throw that jig. Okay, that's the jig right there with the lobster on it. It's big, big profile. All right, with the lobster, I do not trim the skirt with the Three inch rage tail, I do cut about a half inch off the skirt, okay? But I'm throwing this on 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon, okay? Cigar red label fluorocarbon on my signature rod, okay? That's a real time rod, MB seven foot three, 1530. That's a six power. It's seven foot three inches. It's a six power rod. All the McFarland signatures, Bushido Bank comes out of Japan, one of the most sensitive rods that I've ever used. And again, the McFarland signatures make for longer casting and they battle and beat 
the big bass right here at Lake Fork. All right, the reel on my jig rod, I'm choosing the high speed. So I'm using the Daiwa Tatula 100XS 8.3 gear ratio. This thing hauls butt. All right, I can stay with those fish. When we hit them, we hit them hard with a big jig, they come straight to the surface. And we gotta be able to stay with them. And then a lot of times what I want is once that fish hits the surface, I want you to just bring them home. Open mouth, bring her home. And that way there is no battle. We don't worry about losing that big fish to the trees and to the to things that she can go get us stuck on. So it's one big hook set, bring her home. The McFarlane Signature MB73 real-time rods, 1530 power, set up with the Daiwa 100XS Tatula, truly gets it done, all right? That's my preferred bait. If I was in this tournament, I'd throw that and nothing but all weekend long. The JC Spicy Craw has, no, it, it's proved itself for several years now. Um, James Caldemeyer catches big ones all the time on it, all year long, I know. Um, I have caught many, many double digit fish since I came here on it, depend on it, and love it. So get you that bait, the JC Spicy Craw Santone. Get you that Rage Craw and hang on. All right. The next bait of choice, Santone football stand-up piglet, which is a shaky head. Okay, it's a 5 16 ounce. You can use other shaky heads. You don't have to use this one. I prefer this one. It works for the worms that I throw. If you're throwing the larger worms, you might want to find a little different shaky head. But anything bigger than this Zoom mag trick worm, um, you, you're going to need it. So, But for what we do here, this is a 5 16 Santone stand-up football shaky head and a Magnum Zoom Magnum trick worm in African special now, okay? Um, I'm throwing that again on the 20-pound fluorocarbon. I'm throwing that on a little bit lighter rod. It's a McFarland Signatures Real Times rod, but it's a 1225 MB 7 foot 3 1225. All right, with the reel here, I actually want a little more line for a little longer casting. Um, I'm not so much worried about the speed with this, so I run the Tatula 150H, seven to one gear ratio. It's still really fast. The bass still do rise to the surface, but they don't have that heavy jig in their mouth to shake free. So I'm not quite worried about that speed. Um, and seven to one, again, is still really fast. So that's the combination there on the shaky head. Today, we caught them so well on both baits that we quit an hour early. Now, of course, we only did that because we're tournament fishermen. Um, they just didn't need to beat it up anymore. They didn't need to be there anymore. Um, and uh, that was probably the wise choice. Maybe we could have sat on some spots and played defense and protected the hole or whatnot. But it, um, any which way, it was an awesome morning. Thanks for being with me, clients. One last thing I want to share with you before I let you go. Zoom my trick worm. Smells like plastic. The rage tail smells like coffee scent. Pretty neat. Don't know why bass like coffee smell, um, but whatever, at least it covers our odors and mass odors. And this has proven to be an incredible trailer. What I do with these, I take them all out of the bag put them in my own bag. If you've never seen this before, you're going to want to start to do this, but Real Time Rods makes this magic reaction. This is a fish smell a formula, fish attractant formula. Okay. It does not stink. It is not made with fish oil. All right. It's a chemical, a biochemist made this special stuff for Real Time Rods. I'm just going to squirt about one eighth of that bottle in there on them worms and shake it around. Now you see me do this before. Most scents that I've ever used, and I am a scent believer. Um, power baits, for example, come on, Berkeley power baits, they're proving themselves. And almost every single top notch pro, BAS Elite or MLF Angler, proves that to us every time they fish. The Berkeley scent. It has 10 times fish it, on the package. It says fish hold 10 times longer. Um, that, that's false advertising if they're wrong. So, but the real time magic reaction, the, here's my favorite part. When you get a bag of Berkeley baits, you know, the fish eat it. 
oh, that smells so good, but Berkeley don't, all right? Berkeley and all those other scents that I've ever used stink, all right? This coffee smell, it's kind of unique. The fish do like it. I can't explain what's happening here, folks. I just can't. But I will tell you with every bit of conviction that I am Michael McFarland, the Lake Fork Guide, McFarland Fishing. This is the difference maker for me. When I got clients that don't really even know how to fish, they can't detect the bite. The fact is that the fish hold this bait much longer. They eat it, they taste whatever the heck's going on here, and they don't let it go. Okay, so again, I put an eighth of a bottle of the juice. Once I got that juice in there, all right, I'm going to make sure I get everybody coated. I'm now going to take the salt that's provided from Real Time Rods. When you purchase the Magic Reaction, you'll get a bottle of juice and a bottle of salt, flour salt. I'm going to sprinkle one eighth the bottle of salt now on those worms. Okay, it's one eighth the bottle of liquid, one eighth the bottle of salt. You get about eight bags worth from each bottle. Okay. I'm now going to shake that around. And remember, I've told you there's no fish oil in this. It is a chemical compound that reacts with salt. Once the salt hits it, whatever happens is magical. And it makes all of that juice impregnate the worm. Okay? So tomorrow morning, when I open that up, they will not be wet. They will not be slippery. They will not be oily because there is no oil. They will smell awesome, kind of like garlic crawfish. Anybody that's been on my boat that smelled that is, is probably chuckling right now because it, it's true. It doesn't stink. It's not a nasty smell. And the fish love it. All right. So I've rambled on enough, but now I got my bag of worms ready again for tomorrow. And I have emptied this bag every day this week okay man i really appreciate you guys all watching if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button below there's going to be a whole lot more coming when i slow down this fall really here very soon within the next few weeks i'm going to make some different plans to add more content for you but hit the subscribe button below if you have not give me thumbs up if you're enjoying this if you're learning anything Please, the thumbs up is always good to see. Comment below any questions you have, maybe a topic you'd like me to speak about. For example, I had a request for thermocline. So I believe this Sunday or Monday, I'm going to do a McFarland's Corner, about a 45-minute show, and we are going to tell you all that I know about thermoclines, both in the ocean and freshwater. Very detailed. Watch for that show. Again, thank you so much, all of you that follow, all of you that are already subscribed. I love you more than you could ever like me. And um, please keep watching and great fishing. I hope this helps some of you through the mega bass. Be safe. Someone's going to win some money. Someone's going to win a whole lot of money. So I hope it's you. I'm Mike McFarland, the Lake Fork Guide, giving you a Lake Fork Rundown. Man, so much fun.